A motel manager in Statesville has made it her mission to help struggling families find affordable homes. And she was successful, but then the pandemic hit and the need for help tripled. She showed our Brittany Johnson how she's working to meet the challenge. We first introduced you to Denise Chereau in October. She manages Brookwood Inn, the motel off I-40 in Statesville that dozens of families call home. That's everything table. And when some fall behind on their payments, like this grandmother, Chereau raises money to cover their costs through her Facebook page, Acts of Kindness Family Ministry. She even helps some find permanent housing. Before all this, things were going pretty well, I would say. Under the circumstances, okay, we had a, I would consider it a success rate because even if one family leaves, that's success to me. Like Sally. Since our last report, Shiro says Sally and her granddaughters have moved into a home. But the COVID-19 crisis quickly cost many others here their jobs and ability to pay. Then when stimulus checks started to come, I had myself and, and two other people gave their entire check. I had people give half. Given the need, that money got used up quickly, but the need persists. While some wait for unemployment, for others, there is no relief in sight. Right now, about 54 of the rooms here are occupied, but about 15 are struggling to pay their balances, some as high as $1,200, and most of those rooms are filled with families. Chereau says we some are, we, we owe try, as much as $1,200. We try to do everything we can to keep them from being kicked out, but there comes a point where if you don't make enough money to pay your bills, we don't. it's not a matter of kicking them out. It's a matter of not being open. It's a matter of those who do pay having nowhere to go. As long as the motel breaks even, they're open. Thanks to donations, she's able to provide meals and activities for kids. And they're not removing longtime guests who may be considered tenants under the law. But the state's moratorium on evictions ends in June. Concerned about what will happen to families with mounting debt, Chereau continues raising money online and holding Bible study here to help families keep their faith. God is always in control. I try my best not to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or a month from now. I try to deal with what I have to deal with today. So today we have a place to sleep and food to eat. We're okay today. Yeah, by grace. Well, regardless of whether you live in a motel or apartment, if you need help paying your rent, call 211. You can learn more about rental assistance programs in your area.